Hey guys, namaste. Welcome to my YouTube account Handmade. My name is Sunny and on this channel I share with you the things I create. So for today I have attempted to recreate this little home decor project that I saw on Glossy Home Decor magazine. I adored these little ants and was excited to make them myself. So I would have loved to make them super smooth and glossy, but I'm still figuring out how to achieve that high gloss finish on my paper mache projects. And if you guys got any suggestions, hit me up in comment section. Also, if you feel like it, subscribe to my channel and give this video a like and share. You can also follow me on Instagram at Creative Head HM. And if any of you are wondering, it's been a whole month. I have been away from YouTube. Well, it's been a busy March for me. But hey, I'm back with these new projects. Okay, enough about this particular issue, and now it's time to create. First, I'll share how I made these ants and then later grasshopper. For this project, I have used wire, paper mache and paint. I began by bending wire and forming legs and spine for these ants and hoppers. For ants, I have a spine and three set of legs. Once I have all the wire pieces, I taped legs to the spine with masking tape. Then I applied a little paper mache on this wire body at first and let it dry. So later I could use a knife and use a paper mache to complete the body. I also tied a fishing string on these ants neck before covering the entire body with paper mache. Tying this string beforehand is way easier than sticking them later. Trust me on that. I forgot to do this step on hoppers and it was not easy to glue them later. Anyways, now that I have ants ready, I set them to dry and worked on hoppers. Again, for hoppers, I made legs and spine, to which I applied a little paper mache at first and let it dry and later used knife to complete the body with paper mache. I did this cause it was way easier to apply paper mache on a solid thing than on wire. And then once both ants and hoppers are completely dried, I prepped them to paint. For that I covered parts of legs I don't want paint on with some paper and masking tape. And then spray painted entire thing with white paint. At this point, these are blank canvases. For ants, I painted different prints on them. And for hoppers, I took inspiration from these glossy magazines and painted everything with gold. But to add a little something personal, I painted hoppers' wings with green acrylic paint with pearl finish. It would have looked good completely gold or chrome painted as well. But hey, this is what I did. And if you're planning to make them for yourself or as a gift for someone, you should do you. Happy to share these cute little decor pieces with you guys. Hope you all liked it. I will see you guys soon. Do take care. Love and light. Bye.